Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday afternoon, and I have no idea where I'm going right now. I just felt the need to get out and go somewhere where there is ocean. So that's my plan. Where I'll end up, nobody knows, not even me. So I'm just gonna keep putting around until I see a spot to stop. Well, if you haven't figured it out, I'm going to head out to Fort Amherst and get some videos and just hang out for a bit. Maybe I'll see a seal or something. Who knows, right? Well, I made it to Fort Amherst. I'll show you around now. St. John's is just there in the background. As you can see, this is where they keep their boats docked all winter long, all summer long as well. Over that way is what they call the battery. That's the trail along Signal Hill. Up top, you can see Signal Hill. People gazing over. Think they could see me? And that's for Amherst this way. Do you like my shoes? I got my little bright orange grippers on to keep me from slipping on any ice. They come in handy. Right here is a nice little park you can come to and have a picnic. Hang out, enjoy the ocean sounds, enjoy the scenery. Especially nice when there's ships coming in and out of the harbor. You can just hang out here and enjoy the view and the sights. I've actually came here and uh, set up my coffee shop. Came on my motorcycle, had my little chair, my camping stove with me, and I just set it up right here at the top of these stairs. It was nice, kick back, relax, feet up. Plenty of beautiful sights to look at. That's what it's about. You probably can't see with this camera because I'm only using an action camera. But all along those cliffs, you can see a trail there with railing. There's some sections where you got to hold a chain and walk across. It's a very nice hike. Maybe someday I'll be able to do it again. Maybe. All part of the concourse trail system. You can get all over St. John's using that. Welcome to historic Fort Amherst.
Dead Man's Bay Path. That sounds appealing. That's not the way I'm going. It's only 10 and a half kilometers one way, plus your side trails of 2.2 kilometers. No, thank you. So one of the reasons I am out here today is because when I was at the house, I was getting very agitated, angry, ended up punching a wall. So I needed to leave, I needed to get out. And so far this is helping. I guess I need to get out here more often. Fort Amherst, a few more steps and we made it. Way off in the distance is Cape Spear. That's the most easterly point in North America. For the history buffs, you can read this on your own. Doesn't look so bad, half of it's French, so it's only a paragraph. Beauty. and treachery, all in one. These premises are monitored 24-7. Good. If something happens to me, I'll be found. <laughs> See then this way. Authorized personnel only. The steps were easier going down than the air going up. Glad I got my grippers and a rail. Well, since I'm here, I might as well fly my drone, right? Get some clips. So hang on, one second. Well, I got a few drone clips, but uh, not many because geographical location. I know I'm not supposed to fly near Signal Hill, which I never. I stayed within all my regulations and restrictions that I'm supposed to be in, but uh, the nervous, I got nervous over that warning, so I decided to come back. 
St. John's always looks beautiful when the sunset approaches. Won't be long now and the sun will be setting. Well, I'm all packed up. Time to head back. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of Fourth Amherst. So there's a little history to this park I showed you earlier on my way out to Fort Amherst. Frederick's Cove and Frederick's Battery. I don't know if you'll get the chance to read it through this or not, but I'll scroll slowly in case you want to pause it.